Hello everybody, welcome back to more Tales of Vesperia here on Heliord. We've got more side quests to do. I tried to raise money for the other one, that 9500,000 gold, but even if I sell everything, I'm still not even close. Which sucks. But you know, we'll get it eventually. I don't want to miss it. I don't know when I can miss it. But, you know, whatever, it's fine. So we have to go back to the item shop. Is this. welcome travelers? Oh, you were the ones that came by to synthesize a dress last time, right? I still have it right here. Do you want it? N no, it's, it's okay. We don't. We don't need it. <laughs> Let's take it since we came all this way. Who's gonna wear it? Why don't you wear it then? Let's have Carol wear it. Would you ladies be interested in a dress that will be sure to catch any fellow's heart? Now that sounds like an interesting concept. Hey Judith baby, if it's old Raven's heart you're after. Got it baby. If you can bring me a cheagle fur, a spirit fragment, two pieces of sacred tree, and two cockatrice claws that I can get started. Sounds like a lot of very difficult materials to get. You are in the girly title. So we've got outfits now. Hang on, let's dress her up. Come up. Um. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Okay. Well, we actually have to go back down here, down in the mines. Oh, um, oh, it's Sicily, this guy. That's Professor Sicily, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. We sure do run into him a lot. You don't suppose he's following us around and then going where he knows we'll be. I wonder. Should we say hello? Well, old man, what are you waiting for? Me? Oh, well. Guess I might as well. Buongiorno, how you doing? Oh, it's you. Buongiorno. Oh, ho um. You seem pretty down in the dumps, what's the matter? Hmm? You sent it, I don't feel like much doing, doing much at all. Is that so? I guess we all get a little bummed sometimes. Hey, I'm uh, Mr. Sicily. Hmm? Aren't you a really great engineer, Mr. Sicily? You can make weapons and stuff, right? Eh? See? You'd make a really awesome weapon for us. A weapon, you say? I'm just not too interested. Oh, I see. That's too bad. So it's true that you really have to be interested in something to work on it. Hey, Bambino, your haircut. It's very interessante. Huh? My haircut? Really? Oh, I just thought of something magnifico. Magnifico. Huh? Bambino, your haircut. It gave me a hint. Grazie, grazie mille. I must go get some parts. Ciao, amici. Until we meet again, arrivederci. And there he goes. What a weird guy. I think we'll be seeing him again soon enough. So. You have to go out and fight ten battles. At least ten battles, I think. And then, um. And then you can come back and do the rest of this. Which we'll do. Buongiorno. Just as I thought, we meet again. <laughs> looks like he's cheered up a bit. Yeah, maybe he has. It looks like he's got something with him. Garda, have a look at this. It's my masterpiece. I am Barrel X, Jarnk. I am Professor Sicily's helper. Jarnk. What the? It looks just like Carol. Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool, huh, Jark? Is this a blast? Yeah, it looks like a toy. A toy? You take that back. Professor Sicily, say something, please, Jark. 
Hmm, well, see, you are pretty much just a toy. Big shock, Jonk. And Rita, I was thinking that I might give this toy to you, my kind of Amici. The bigger shock. He's fully autonomous, right? I can't, I just can't feel the same way about him as I do with other Blastia. So that can happen to even you, Rita. I'm sorry, I don't want him. I mean, well, maybe. No, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't take him. Shock, impossible. No, we pissed him off. He ran away. I don't think we should go after him. My Mishi, you are all very unique people. He's not paying attention. I think you got us beat in the uniqueness category. Moon Kane, you have a dog. You know a dog, you fight too. You, you don't care about me anymore, Big Shock. Come on, we should follow him. He goes off, follow who? Barrel of X. Oh yes, D, C, I, C. I'll stay here and relax. Let's go. Yeah. He's over this way, right? There he is. Hey. What, what do you want, Jark? I'm not willing to anything, Jark. No, I think you're really cool. Dude, that's obvious, Jark. Why are you saying such obvious things, Jark? I'm shocked at how obvious that is, Jark. I was thinking maybe we could be friends. If you insist, I suppose, I can make you my henchman, Jark. Uh, I wanted to be your friend, not your henchman. Anyway, let's go back to Professor Sicily, okay? Okay, Jark. Oh, you have returned. Professor Sicily, I've decided, Jark, I'm going to go with these people, Jark. This boy begged me until I agreed, Jark. I didn't want to make him cry, Jark. That's not how I remember it. Oh, really? Excelente. Then, buona fortuna. Work hard. You can come back any time, eh? Professor Sicily. Well, he is yours now. Feel free to give him a new name if you'd like. Huh? Hmm, nothing springs to mind. He was originally named Bart Barrel X, and he looks just like Carol. How about calling him Carol X? Alright, it's decided. Just like that. Nice to meet you, Carol X. Uh, okay, Jark, from now on I'll be Carol X, Jark. Welcome to the party, Carol X. You can stay in Carol's bag, okay? Why, Junk? I can walk by myself. Are you pleased with the cherries on top? What? Wow, oh, okay, Junk. Ah, finally some peace and quiet. Okay, let's go. So, um, yeah. Uh, is it a what? What is this? A weapon? I don't understand. What did I get? What is Carol LX? Is it and is it even anything? Valuable? There's only an accessory. Is it equipment of some sort? Doesn't look like it, does it? Oh. Huh. I don't know what it is, but we got it. Alright. Uh, the next quest can only take place at night. It is, um, it is obviously, it's not night. So we've got to make it night. Hang on. Let's sleep outside. Let's use one of our mini tents. Uh, Matt, let's do Matt. They're less valuable. Ah, nighttime. Perfect.
Do you hear that voice? Sounds like a kid's voice to me. What would a child be doing in a place like this? There's a baby! Who we'll left a baby out? That's not good. Hey, let me see it for a second. I'm crying, you. You can't just expect it to stop crying if you ask. Wow, Rita, you really got a mother's touch. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, do you think this child was abandoned by its parents? If so, we should probably take it to the nice to take care of. But it's so late to be doing that. We might as well wait until the morning. We can look after this little one until then. I'll pass. Why? I'm really sorry, but I'm not too good with children so young that they can't even understand me. I'll have to bow out on this one too. It's so small, I'm afraid of breaking it. I really think I look like I'd make a good babysitter. Well, I think... Ugh, whatever, you are all useless. But I hadn't even said anything yet. Let's go, Estelle. Oh, uh, alright. Not this again. Why does it always stop crying when you hold it, Rita? I don't know. Why are you crying all of a sudden? Maybe it's hungry. Maybe we should give it a banana? Ah, uh, Rita, no! Shut up, Carol! Well, who's there? Rita, this baby's still too young to eat bananas. Maybe if we gave it some milk or something else? Who would have thought he would just pee like that all of a sudden? I am. Um, I'm gonna go see if I can find something to use as a diaper. Somebody's all smiles now that he drank his little, 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 little milk, isn't that right? There's a good boy, there's a good boy. I was really surprised to see that he was a boy. You're blushing us still? Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> He's sleeping so soundly. <sighs> Way past my bedtime, too. And yet you've been awake for hours taking care of him. Well, I can't just leave him alone. You know, I wonder where you're in the restaurant off to. Yeah. Don't you think the two of us look like a mom and dad, a happy little couple? Huh? What are you talking about? We... If we don't end up finding his mother, we should adopt him and raise him together. <laughs> so is all about this baby. Oh, she's asleep. You're crazy, Estelle. Kid, don't you go forgetting us once the morning comes. Okay. Oh, my little angel. Thank you so much. I looked away for a second and someone carried him away. You should really be more careful. Thank goodness we found him. Too bad we didn't get to take care of him for a little bit longer. You're joking, right? You'd really start to take a liking to you, Rita. He was just being a normal baby. He didn't take a liking to me. They say that babies can instinctively tell when someone's a good person. A good person. Hmm. Rita, you're a good person. You are a good person. Okay, we're done here. That's all for now. Now we have to do the Dongrass. We've got a lot to do there. It's okay. We're almost done with side quests. And then we'll be back on the main story. I know you're all just itching to get back there. And I understand. I do. Believe me. Do 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 do. <clears throat> Gracious. So we have to go to the shop. Is this the shop? This is the shop. There's two shops. Huh? What's the matter? Hey, Carol and Raven, too. No, it's just I've got something on my mind, is all. What's up? 
Tell us, maybe Brave Vespera can help. Well, I feel pretty dumb, but I lost the key to the storeroom. I can't do any organizing at all. Sounds like a job for Captain Carol. Huh? Me? Oh, on you now, Master Lockpicker. This lock looks pretty old. I don't think I can get it unlocked. I'm sorry. Is that so? I wonder what I should do then. Aha! I'm a genius! What? What is it? I've got a bad feeling about this one. Just like last time, kid. Hop up, I'll give you a boost. We did it! Oh, thank you. You did great. What else did you expect from the Great Raven? But all you did was give me a boost up. I can't thank you enough. You can have whatever's in the storeroom. Weren't you planning on tidying up your things? Well, I was originally planning on reorganizing all my boxes, and I'm sure that a lot of them would end up, end up getting thrown away. And I need to give you a reward for the work that you did. Okay, but don't you think this is a bit much? That's okay to me. After all, it's a reward for hard work done by Brave Vesperia. Frankly, I don't really even know what's in there. Alright then, we'll take it. Thanks. Thanks for your help. If I ever have another problem, I'll be sure to ask Brave Vesperia. What is in here? F statue. Statue of Fellowship. The story of a traveler and the spirit that lives in his ring. Okay. Ooh. Skit. This figurine is lovely. Figurine? I'd say it's more like a toy, really. You must not have seen many things like this in the castle, Estelle. I'd like to see more of these figurines. And thus, a figurine collector is born. Oh, some people are just more interested in aesthetics than others, Yuri. It's not all that unusual. Yeah, I don't really have any interests outside of Blastia. I've always been a fan of cool guild emblems myself. What about you, Yuri? Huh? I've never really given much thought to artistic sorts of things. I never really looked at anything like art. Ask me! Ask me! Ask me what I like! <laughs> Girls! <laughs> the, the, that's right. You know it's right. <laughs> that, that, that's right. <laughs> this kid's adorable. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm crossing new horizons. Man, I play that game. Like a day straight, and then I just completely dropped it. It's alright, but. Okay. Hi there! Hey, good to see you. Working for more work? Unfortunately, I don't have any jobs for you right now. Hmm, I guess sometimes there's just not enough work to go around. Yeah, we can't always count on there being jobs for us to do. We can always try again later. Oh, never mind. I'm in the wrong, the wrong area. Or am I? I'm in the right place. Hang on. I think I talked to him twice. Yeah. Doing well. That's good to hear. Come to think of it, I ended up getting this key from those blood alliance guys. But I don't have any use for it, you can have it. Apparently it's a key to the lower level of Gasafrost. Ooh, let's do it. I haven't been there in a while, have we? Oh. Huh. Will be very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Now keep in mind, in terms of side quests, I've never like done any of them at all when I when I've ever played this game. Because they're so like restrictive on time, you have to pretty much follow a guy to do anything. Well Where's Gas for us again? Oh, right there. 
Um, that's why I've never done it because I just like I don't want to sit there and watch a guy read a guide the whole time. So a lot of this is new to me, which is fun. I I exploring the world more than I ever have. Um. Keyhole in this lever. Come to think of it, didn't we get a key a while back? I don't know what's down here. Oh, looks like it might move if you use the sorcerer's ring on it. Ooh. Ah, so this is what they're keeping in the lower levels. What is all this? That blasting network that Alexia was trying to create. This is all equipment that was used for that. This is. Yes, it seems that he had Barbo set up gas for us as one of the nodes in the network. So Alexei was behind what Barbos was doing after all. With Zadi at the center of the network, the other nodes of gas for us, the capital, Cap Capua, or Helior, Naspio, this network siphoned air from Blastia all over the world to Zade, giving him all that power. Air should be used so people can live happily, but he wanted to use it for his own personal gain. And that's what caused this teensy little global catastrophe we're dealing with. I can't forgive what he did, but I can't help feeling a little sorry for him. There's no need to feel sorry for him. Because of Alexei's evil deeds that our world is in such trouble right now. There's no use arguing about someone who's already dead. What's important is that fight to protect what's important to us now. Couldn't have said it better myself, Carol. Ah, that was nothing. What the? This is... What's up, Rita? This is what Alexei was using. This, it's the fake day Nomos. How'd it get here? Wasn't this destroyed in the fortress shrine of Zada? Maybe they made multiple copies. That would make sense. Each of the copies is a control key for the Blastia and its node of the network. Then the Blastia here is also... Yes, I thought it was strange. I never saw how Barbos could control this tower's Blastia as immense as it is with that crude imitation he had. But if they had this one that Alexei made, I can believe it. <clears throat> is it okay if we take it? It could cause the air supply to stop working and make the tower stop functioning, but that's alright, right? Sure, sure, no problem at all. Take it, would you, lad? Take this? So we're gonna use the power that released the Autosphagos to go and defeat it? I like the way that sounds. Alright, let's go. The false day Nomos. How good is it? That's really good. Uh, oh man, our Jody goes way down, but our tag goes way up. That's all I care about. Actually, that's not true. Is there any other things? Oh, there's a chest. Oh, I'm a bottle. Nice. Okay, I think we're done here. <clears throat> Alrighty, but we're not done with Dongrest. Must go back. I know it feels like a waste to fly, but it's okay. Um. <clears throat> oh, you're that guild from last time. Many thanks for your help back then. Hey, we should be thanking you for giving us the job. Actually, you've come at a perfect time. I have a favor I'd like to ask. My friend Nobis, the one to whom you delivered that book, is looking for people to do a job. Would you mind going and hearing what he has to say? Well... Hold on. Can we take a job without asking the Union first? The Union doesn't keep other guilds from doing their own work. The Union system for getting jobs is just to help out guilds that couldn't get work on their own. 
so we just moved up as a guild. Exactly. And this way, there's no finder's fee, so we get to all the money for ourselves. Huh. Alright, we'll go talk to your friend and decide whether or not to take the job. Thank you. He's most likely in Torm Harbor right now. Please go there and listen to what he has to say. Alright, we'll do. We'll do. Torm Harbor, huh? If I could remember which one is which. Wait, where's Torm again? Oh, yeah, it's over here. Okay, it's this one, right? Ah, I got it. Um. Oh, is that you? Oh, okay. My every soul into a sea of flames. It's you. Hello there, I apologize for not staying in touch. Why would you? All we did was deliver a package. Ah, that's a good point. We hear from you that there's something you'd like to have done? Really? Oh, I would be so grateful. Thank goodness for friends, right? I've actually heard your guild mentioned here and there recently. I thought you could probably find the answer I seek. So you want to hire Brave Vesperia? Yes, that's right. I'd actually like for you to go gather information about a certain something. Gather information? Sounds like another job that keeps going and going. Well, I tried to do it myself and I've asked whatever guilds would help. So far though, there haven't been any promising leads. However, I cannot afford to be dissuaded. I must obtain what I seek at any cost. Sounds pretty serious. Yes, well for me it is a matter of great importance. Great importance, huh? So what is it you're looking for? An ore of metal known as Everlite. But that's... The girl who asked for help back in Dongress, her necklace was made of Everlite. She did say something about her dad digging it up in a mine somewhere. Really? Yeah, so you might be able to get more information if we asked her a few questions. It's funded. You will, of course, be paid well for useful information. Allow me to explain. You really need this ever light. What are you going to use it for? A dream I would give my life for. A dream you'd give your life for? Sorry, I shouldn't bore you with personal matters. Will you do this for me? Yes, of course we will. Guess we better see if we can't get this thing done. Oh, really? We couldn't possibly refuse to help with something that's so important to you. We accept this task in the name of the brightest star in the night sky, Brave Vesperia. Thank you, I'm counting on you. I'll be waiting here in this town for a while in case you find some good news. Alrighty. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go back to Dongrest. Oh man, if we couldn't fly... This would really suck. <clears throat> so now we have to go to the inn. You think Rihanna's still at the inn? Well, let's just go inside and take a look. Hey, I, um, I want to see your old teacher, huh? You can wait here if you want. Okay. No. <clears throat> oh, it's you. Thanks again for what you did for me. It was nothing. It was a lot of work, actually. I was trying to be polite. Aggressive bark. Actually, there's something we want to ask you. Oh, I'd be happy to help if I can. The necklace you asked us to find was made of Everlight, right? Yes. You said your father mined the ore for the necklace and made it himself, right? Do you know where he got the ore from? I read in his diary a while back that it came from a mountain in western Dizier. Mount Temza? Yes, that name sounds right. He wrote that he went up to the mountain after spending the night in the Curtin village there. Do you know when this was? Before my parents got married, so over 20 years ago. 20 years ago? That's long ago, huh? Well, there's no telling if there's any ever light left there anymore. I'm afraid I don't know anything more than that. That's plenty, thanks. Hey, did you find anything out? She said it was 20 years ago on Mount Temza. 20 years ago, huh? What was? That area's been a wasteland ever since the Great War. Rocks are rocks. War shouldn't really affect things like that. Judy, weren't you born there? Did you ever hear anything about this? 
Well, I was really little when I lived there. I never heard anyone talking about Everlight. Hmm, okay. Wouldn't it be faster just to go and see if we can get any ourselves? Yeah, you're right. Let's go take a trip to Mount Temza. Let's. Okay. There we are in the last area. We gotta check this thing. That red thing over there. That? Hey, there are a lot of impurities, but this is definitely Everlight Ore. Awesome! Now we just need to tell Nobis and we're done with this job. Hey, shouldn't we bring some back for him since we're here? Sure, I don't see why not. Well, let's do some digging then. Here we go. This is a pretty good sized chunk. Hey, do y'all hear something? What is that? Oh, do we fight it? No way, let's get out of here. You heard him. I want to fight him. We will not go easy on you. Oh yeah, I gave <laughs> repeat as these little adorable things that you can put on his back. <laughs> there's, there's one for every character. It's, they're they're cute. I ran across one when I was doing some chest digging here, and um, I was surprised because I was like, um. Yeah, I, I was like, it said I already had it, and I'm like, I don't even know what this is. Why do I already have it? And, uh, oops, I go the other way. And, uh, then I, I was looking at there for repeat. I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, they all have different I can, I can show you here real quick. They're actually really adorable. Um, right. so they're basically just outfit or attachments. So you get one like this one for <laughs> Flynn, this is Patty. Um, obviously there's Judith, there's Raven, there's, there's, there's Rita, there's Carol, there's Estelle, and then there's yours truly. I don't know, I just, just they're just adorable. That's all. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I know there's a chest over there, but I don't care enough to stop. I don't... I don't know if we could go back where Bull was and, and leave that way. I'm not sure if that works still. I don't want to go up there, though, because I don't think it would let me. But let's just get out of here. Oh, no! I do too. Oh, you can see the uh, the autofagos in the sky. That's really cool. Just notice that. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nifty. Yeah, my way. Oh, we have to fight. But we should fight anyway because we need the money. Right? I've been fighting, but like, cannot be bothered. Victory is sweet. I mean, we, I was just trying to finish up all the side quests, but I'm not be, I'm not gonna be able to. Now oh, we got a scene, so we did have to go back this way. Oh, we have to fight that. Hopefully don't. Thing looks scary. Run! I like how they have all the characters on, on the screen. This is cool. Wonder if we'll meet him later. We might have to fight him later. Are you kidding? That thing's still following us? My guess is it's not after Where's us. Patty? You think it wants the Everlight? Probably. Oh, there she is. I didn't <laughs> just saw her. Okay. It's hiding. Stop right there. That voice. Where did you come from?
Fucking Zaggy, are you serious? I want the bird to take him. Hey, you kind of caught us at a bad time. <laughs> it's never a good time when you're in reach of my blade, Yuri Lowell. I had no idea he showed up in a side quest. That's pretty cool. With any luck, they kill each other. Piece of crap. Should we be going? Yeah, I don't want to fight any pointless battles, right, Carol? Yeah, we don't really have time for this anyway. Ah! I'm gonna rip your ugly head off, monster! I I wonder if he's okay. Which one of them do you mean? Um. Hmm. Alrighty. Hey, are we really gonna take this with us? Of course! I mean, it's the job we were given. And you saw how much the client wanted this Everlight. Yeah, but why was that monster so interested in it? Baul should be able to outfly him, right, Judith? Of course. But that's not really the issue here, is it? No, I just wonder if it's really okay to carry off something that seems so important. Nobis trusted us to do this job for him. I want to take this back to him. I think it's the right thing to do. Well, if you put it like that... Maybe we should just ask the client what he'd like us to do. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We're gonna go back to him anyway. And then we'll probably call it a video. Here you go, Nobis. Got you your light. Look, Look we brought oh. you the Everlight. Oh, I never imagined you would deliver it to me directly. Thank you so very much. With this, we can finally revive our guild. Revive? revive. Did something happen to your guild? No, it's it's nothing. Here, take this as a show of my gratitude. That That's it. it. I mustn't waste even a single moment. He couldn't attack on another zero game. Risk our lives to get that right? five thousand gold. Must really be in a hurry if he's heading out of town on his own. It's like three gels. Oh crap! That voice. I, I don't believe it. Damn, he sure is persistent. Nobis is in trouble. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Patty. What are you doing? No, go. Get him, repeat. Judith and little Judith. It looks like the monster got away with the stone. You serious? Hey, are you okay? After all that searching, now we'll have to start over. This wound is terrible. Nurse Estelle. Let's carry him to the inn. Well, he'll live, but he shouldn't be moved for quite some time. He's lucky you were here. What a stupid thing to do. I don't care what the reason. Anybody who steps outside a barrier alone is crazy. 
I mean, that's what we did. I figure this will make him give up on the Everlight. He's lucky to get off with his life. I guess we shouldn't have brought the Everlight to him after all. I should have listened to you, Yuri. Hey, it's his own fault for charging out like that. You got nothing to worry about, Carol. Yuri. But we should decide what our guild will do if something like this happens again. We do need to try and define Brave Vesperia's rules as we gain more experience. Yeah. Hey, don't get all down on yourself. We just started as a guild. Yeah, we'll only get better from here on. Yeah, only from here on out. Okay, well that's it. Because the next quest is actually kind of lengthy. So, we've got two more of them to do. Actually, three more. Uh, no. We'll do two more. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do one of them. <laughs> it's because this is with RP. So, with that said, I'll see you all next time. Have a good day, everybody. And as always, take care.